All right, guys. So here's the formula, and um, and I'm I'm not <clears throat> by no means am I somebody who's like big or muscular or whatever, right? I'm just me. I'm actually short, and 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 that's probably why I look big sometimes, even though I'm not. I'm only like 155, yeah, 155 pounds. I was at 160 before when I was uh, prepping. I was at 160 shredded, but um, I feel like that's probably the best that I look. However, 160 shredded for me was like that was. I feel like that was enough. <laughs> like, I, yeah, I couldn't reach. Um, but anyway, so I'm at 155. So we're gonna do some quick math real quick. I'm gonna do it on my phone, and I will record it, screen record. That way you can see it as well. But let me get my notes real quick. All right, let's start a new note. Let's see, barking. Let's name that barking. Okay, so let me make sure it's recording. Two, one. All right, so here's what's gonna happen. Here is the formula for you to, to, to use, right? So you wanna do body weight, uh, let's put that times weight, uh, and that's gonna be your equals RMR. So what is RMR? RMR is your resting metabolic rate that's your rmr so basically if you are laying down all day long right in order for you to keep the same weight for you to keep the same lean body mass and, and obviously uh you know you got to make sure that you're, you're eating at some point or whatever right but let's just say if you're you're laying down the whole day not doing nothing not working out you're just, you're just there uh, this is how many calories you need per day to to maintain that right because if you're laying down all day And you're not eating you're gonna lose weight You're gonna lose a lot of muscle if you're laying down all day and you eat more than this amount you're gonna gain weight All right doesn't this does not necessarily mean you're gonna gain muscle, but you are gonna gain fat All right, so let's just let's just use me for instance for an example 155 times 10 This gives me let's see with 12 times 10, 1,550, all right. 1,550 calories per day. This is my RMR, all right, my resting metabolic rate. So I need 1,550 calories per day to maintain the same. Like if I'm laying down all day, not doing anything, this is how much I have to eat as far as calories. To maintain and obviously you got to make sure that you are eating like mostly protein and and healthy carbs or high quality carbs and high quality fats right if you're there eating if you get this calories from like mcdonald's or shit like that then yeah of course you're gonna gain um fat all right so that that's the first step your body weight times 10 gives you your rmr your me resting metabolic rate all right now from your resting metabolic rate you gotta really think about this all right You have options here. Usually people over do their options. All right, so as you can tell now, I, I added a few things to the uh, to this, right? So you got your, I added lightly active, right? Times 1.2, lightly active plus lift times 1.3, active plus lift times 1.5, super active plus lift times 1.7, Super active plus heavy lift times 2.0. Now let me explain this real quick, right? Because most of the time people think they're in a higher range when in reality they're not. So we got our resting metabolic rate for me, 1,550. Now, lightly active, right? Lightly active meaning that um, I barely go to the gym, right? So I, I don't lift the weights. So lightly, act lightly active if you don't lift weights you are you might go for a walk right you might go for a little walk and your job isn't is, isn't hard either right so so your job isn't hard mostly sitting down all day you might the only times you're walking are whenever you're walking to your car walking to groceries walking to go see a movie walking in your house walking outside right simple stuff right so that's not me right obviously that's not me so basically if that is you right which I hope no, no one of you is that. 
you will basically you will basically take that 1550 times that one by 1 1.2 which which gives us 1860 so 1860 and those will be your calories right that will be the calories for the whole day if you were somebody who has like an office job who doesn't really go out much and you're trying to bulk right 1860 will be your calories to aim for right if you're trying to gain weight trying to get gain more muscle 1860 will be your your calories for the whole day now one thing to keep now one thing to keep in mind is that these are just like average numbers so this is what you're aiming for so if you aim for the 1860 right and you feel hungry then yeah add, add a little bit more food to it like i said don't starve don't feel hungry. This is just like calories to aim for. None of these numbers are like, oh, you have to do these numbers. No, this is numbers that you aim for. If you were, and vice versa, if you were uh, trying to lose weight, right? And if you aim for these numbers and they seem too high, hey, cut them down some. Or, or if you aim for these numbers and, and this is still too low, then you can still add some, right? But these are just numbers that you, sh you can aim for. All right. Lightly active plus lift. Now, lightly active plus lift is basically same. Just what I said. You have like an office job. You you the only times you're walking are, are at work, to getting groceries, going to the store in your house, stuff like that. But you are going to the gym. You know, lift a cup. You know, you're lifting some weights and stuff like that. Then we can use the 1.3. So let's see, 1560 times 1.3. Uh, wait. Oh, 1550. My bad. For me. 1550 times 1.3 that gives me 2015 all right 2500 calories for the whole day um which is pretty good now let's talk about active plus lift and this is for people who have a job where they're constantly moving uh so on top of everything that i, that I said walking around in, in the um Walking around, like, like let's say in their in their work, um, to getting groceries, to taking care of their animals, taking care of their kids, walking around all the time, stuff like that, right? Plus, you go to the gym, kill, fucking kill the workout, right? Uh, so you're lifting, you're active, but on top of that, you're also doing cardio. So whether that that whether that cardio is bike riding, going for a run, a jog, hiking, doing it, uh, playing sports any extra activity that you might be doing um, on top of everything else, right? Then we can use that 1.5. So 1550 times 1 1.5. That's 2,325 calories. Let's see. Equals 2,325 calories for the whole day. All right, you see, you see where we're going with this? All right, now super active plus lift, meaning uh, you, you're going to the gym, you're lifting weights. Now this this is right here is for only for people who work, for example, like in construction, who have <clears throat> jobs that take a lot of that where you burn a lot of calories and that put a lot of stress on your body. So, um, <clears throat> sorry. So like construction workers, um, people who are walking all day, maybe um, people who are walking all day. And they have to use their strength all day. So like picking up boxes, uh, like I said, construction workers, if you work on roofing, if you, and basically any blue collar job, most, most blue collar jobs, about 99% blue collar jobs, right? Um, and you're still going to the gym, right? You're going to the gym and you are lifting weights. But on top of that, you're also doing a little bit of cardio, whether that's sports, whether that's biking, whether that's hiking. So basically you're, you're super active the whole time. Then we're gonna use this 1.7. 15, 15 times 1.7, 2,635 calories. 2,635 calories. And that's for the whole day. But like I said, keep in mind, this is these are just numbers to aim for, right? This aren't numbers that you have to specifically hit, or that you can't go, or, or that you can't go under, or you can't go over. Now, obviously, if you're, if you're trying to bulk, then I would say I'll try to aim for these numbers. Um, and if they feel like they're too much, then you're base, you're probably not at that level as far as 
the 1.7 then you should drop down to like the 1.5 or the 1.3 right so or or if you feel like you're under eating then bump it up to the next number right now super, super active plus heavy lifting this are this is basically everything from that i said from the from the past right so you're walking you're walking you, you work in uh, construction or or something where it puts a lot of stress on your body you're going for uh, you play sports or, or stuff like that but you're also lifting heavy now when, when i say heavy lifting i mean heavy lifting i'm talking about my power lifters i'm talking about people who go to the gym and just fucking kill it all the time right not go to the gym and lift lightweight i'm talking about you're actually there lifting making it happen right um then we can use that 2.0 now, where does that put us? At 3,100 calories. 3,100 calories, right? Now, like I said, these are numbers just to aim for. Um, if you feel like, if you feel hungry, then you can add more, stuff like that. Now, Now, one thing that I do want to talk about, though, is that doesn't necessarily get talked a lot, a lot about is this JoJo diet. So this JoJo diet where people bulk and then cut like that. I want to make it clear that that's I'm not doing that shit. I'm not going to going to bulk, get fat, basically. Right. And then just cut down. No, no, no. That's not what I'm trying to do here. I'm trying to bulk, but I'm trying to bulk with muscle. Right. All muscle. Yes, I'm going to gain some body fat. Yes, I'm going to get you know maybe you know it's going to be a slower process but it's going to be more beneficial overall so i'm not here just trying to get fat i'm trying to get stronger trying to get more lean body mass more muscle but at the same time want you know stay healthy and yeah and still look good basically a lot of people made the mistake of saying i'm a bulk yeah, trying to bulk, but all they do is eat like a whole shit ton of food is because somebody told them, oh, you just need, you know, to eat calories and, and that's all. So they try to go to McDonald's and stuff like that. This is not what I'm doing here. You got to make sure that you're eating high quality meals. All right. So where, where do I fall? So where does Rodrigo fall off on this, right? Where do I fall off? Honestly, I'm pretty much lightly active plus lift. Like I, like I said this before, a lot of people think they overdo it or they they think they're like maybe at 1.7 or even at 2.0 when that's not that's not the reality, right? I've been at 2.0 as far as work-wise and trust me, I am nowhere near that, right? Nowhere. So so 1.3 1.3 is where i'm currently at right now so i'm actually aiming for the 2015 calories now honestly though i'm probably going to be at 2325 only because i have been eating more but i'm aiming for the 2000 i'm gonna see how i feel with it like i said i haven't been tracking so i'm gonna aim for the 2015 calories but if i feel hungry i'm gonna eat more and and I'm, I have, I'm pretty sure I'm going to end up at 2,325 calories or, or somewhere in between. Now, I'm going to break down my macros, right? So my protein, my carbs, and my fats, all right? Now, I, I, I automatically know that I'm gonna be doing high protein. I'm gonna do uh, one gram of protein per pound of body, pound of body weight. So I'm actually gonna do 155, 155 grams of protein. Um, and honestly, you don't honestly you don't really need more than this as far as protein wise. If you do decide to do more protein, if I well if I decide to get more protein, it's mostly because I either want to bring the carbs down or the fats down. So that's that's the only reason why I would add more protein to it but in reality you only need like 0.8 of your body weight in pounds so um or kilograms might be might be kilograms but one gram of pound per body weight that's all you really need so 155 grams of protein per day 
it's what I'm going to be eating. So that equals, let's see. So for every gram of protein, you have four calories. So what I'm going to do is 155 times that by four, that's 620. So here are 620 calories. All right. Now, 2015, we're gonna take 2015 minus 620 calories. I'm left with 1,395 calories. Cool, to mess with. All right. Now, fats, I already know what I'm gonna do for fats. So I'm actually gonna do 40 grams of fats per day, right? Um, only because I was doing before I was doing 30 grams, this time I'm, I'm gonna do 40, that way it can be a little bit easier for me to reach those calories, even though I'm pretty sure it's gonna be super easy. So, let's do this. Uh, okay. So, so, one thing you need to know is that fats do have more calories overall per gram, so one gram of fat equals nine calories. So 40 times that by nine, that's three sits it right there. So 360 calories, boom. Um, all right, so 620 plus 360. Okay, plus 620. That's 980. Okay, so 980, 2015 minus 980. I'm left with 1,035 calories, right? And guess what? Guess what we got left? We got carbs. So all you, all you really need to know is that <clears throat> for carbs, it's four calories per gram of carb. So if we're left with 1,035 calories, all you gotta do is divide that by four, boom, 258, we'll say 259, just to kind of keep it simple, 259 grams of carbs. So 259. 59 grams of carbs, which, which gives us our 1,000, what was it? 1,035 calories. 1,035 calories per day, right? So <clears throat> this is, this is going to be my breakdown. <clears throat> Sorry. So this is going to be my breakdown. Uh, I'm aiming aim for 2,015 calories per day. My pro protein is going to be 155, 155 grams per day, which is basically 620 calories. Carbs, 259 grams per day, which is the 1,035 calories. Fats, 40 grams per day, which is 360 calories overall for the whole day. So this is what I am aim for if, if I feel hungry, right? If I feel hungry, my first step is to, I'm obviously gonna eat more, but my first go-to will be more protein. So I'll probably do like a Greek yogurt. Um, yeah, like a nice Greek yogurt that's gonna add like 20 grams of protein in there. There's, I know it has a little bit of carbs there, not too much. And that in the Greek yogurt usually has like around 100, <clears throat> 100 calories. So all that's gonna do is bump my calories up to 2,115 basically <clears throat> and so on right so yeah it's 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 very simple well once you know this you can kind of like get the numbers to kind of aim for basically but yeah so once again try to <clears throat> i would say take a screenshot of this and um yeah that's what i have planned Perfect.